Hello, gardeners. You know, in every video um, of that summer, the bills, the original documentary, and videos I do on my channel, I always see the comment, so why didn't the brothers help Big and Little Evie? <laughs> I'll tell you. Feline Jr. and Bouvier Bud Bill were both great successes. Feline Jr. moved off to Oklahoma and never came back. Bud stayed in New York at least until sometime after the film. Now, Bud was a real button-down, go-by-the-book, just like his dad, and pretty much treated Big Edie like his dad treated her. During Bud's wedding, Big Edie shows up a half hour late, dressed as an opera singer. Now, whether that means a helmet with horns or a giant boa, I don't know. But that's when her father disowned her, stopped her allowance, and cut her out of his will, seemingly. However, he really didn't, because when he died, she inherited a $65,000 trust put in the control of her sons. Now, her sons wanted her out of there. And they refused to pay a penny. And right before the raid, the city wrote a letter to the trust saying that the vines needed to come down and the city would do it for $5,000. The letter came back saying there's no money left in the trust. See, Big and Little Edie lived on this trust for 23 years. And then when the gas company told uh, the bills that the furnace was going to blow up, Bud didn't say any say anything back. Now, after the county and city first showed up, they um, got in touch. The county got in touch with Bud and was on the phone. And was like, you know, if something's not done by the next raid, it's going to cause a national scandal. And Bud said, well, you know, what you saw sounds right. But uh, Mother's been like this for a year. Mother is the original hippie. And if that's what it takes to get Mother out of that house, so be it. He had been trying to get Big Evie to turn over power of attorney so he could tear it down and sell Grey Gardens. Now, in the HBO special, we see both brothers there saying, that, you know, you can move here. We got this place and that. Uh, none of that actually took place. Now, Bud came there, but he, he was a lot more stern than, you know, pleading. Uh, they wanted her out of there. They wanted Grey Garden sold. Now, Big Edie would see Bud later in life. You can see pictures of her with him during his son's, um, grandson's wedding. And uh, Edie stayed with him in California many years later. But the reason the brothers didn't help it's because they did want her mo their mother out of there, but for what reason? Because they didn't feel like paying any money? Because they didn't like the lifestyle that she lived and wanted to take care of her. What it is exactly is not perfectly clear, but the way that Bud talked about it and just refused to help um, sounded so cold... You need to know, th you know, these three things. The three things that brought the raid was the county, the village fathers, the um, some neighbors that were unnamed, and their own kin. And they never named what kin, but you can take some pretty good guesses as to who started this raid in the first place. The 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 brothers wanted her out. They wanted power of attorney. They wanted to sell Grey Gardens, whether it was from greed or because they cared about their mom. I can't say for sure, but you got the facts in front of you and you can make your own decision.